Hi, it's Jeff here from discoverdoublebass.com, which is the home of online learning for double bass players. We've got a great faculty of expert tutors who will help you on your journey. And today I'm going to be looking at a scales exercise that can help you to play what you already know in different positions of the instrument and get more comfortable with this kind of middle register uh, that you may be avoiding, stopping you going low, up high on the G, and then back down to low. We want to master this whole fingerboard. And we're going to be doing it by playing the same pattern in three different positions on three different strings. So the pattern's really straightforward. We'll start um, in the key of E, and it's just a major scale going up to the fourth and then back down. So we start with E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Um, what we're going to do is play this going up the string now, and we want it to sound the same as going across. So going across G sharp and A on the G string, and then we play it going up the D string. So you want them to ideally sound, uh, sound the same, certainly in terms of intonation, they are the same notes. So you should be as comfortable to move up the fingerboard as you are to shift and go across there. Now let's move this uh, pattern, once we're comfortable with it, onto the E string. So we'll start with what we know. And now we're gonna move up onto the E string. And these are the same notes, same pitches. And do they sound the same? And obviously the, the tone of the instrument changes as you move on to these thicker strings. But ideally we go slow, slower than I was doing there, and we focus on the intonation. Is it the same with each time we play it? And now let's go for our final version onto the E string. And play up the E string. And then maybe all the way back down. So such a simple pattern, moving up the major scale, back down, playing it on one string, in, uh, sorry, two versions starting on uh, the D string, across and then up if you think about it that way, and then two versions starting on the A string, two versions starting on the E string, and before you know it you've really covered, uh, well, the whole, well, you know, all of this area of the fingerboard, and as you move across it tends to get harder. So let's take this into a new key and take the exercise further. If we move into the key of F, uh, we play across starting, so the version of the D string going across. So F, G, A, B flat, A, G, F. And now on one string. And now let's move across. And now on the A string. And now the lastly, The E string and it certainly is hard playing those those notes we don't tend to use that register but you may as well explore as much of the bass as you can um, but certainly the shifts around here being able to play the same pattern on the D and on the A is really important and you'll do it a lot more than uh, you will use the pattern on the E but make sure that you do all of them it's a really nice exercise you could also change the pattern you could make it minor for example so if we go back to E F sharp, G, A. Oh, sorry, I did major there. Minor. And it will help you explore the fingerboard in a new way. So you've got different patterns, you can move up, and the higher that you move up, the harder it gets on these uh, strings. So give it a try, and hopefully it will, it will help you. So a second exercise, which is similar, is to take a, an arpeggio and play it up one fingering and down the other, and see if it sounds the same. So let's pick um, C, so we find the note, the note C, C major seven. 
So we've got C, E, G, B, C. But what if we move this E onto the D string? So now we're going to play it going up. Maybe down the other way. Um, up that way. And then down on the G string. So you're just practicing it really slowly and then maybe take it down an octave and maybe compare it with this fingering. The idea is that you're playing the same notes in different positions on the bass really slowly, really carefully, paying attention to the shifts and trying to keep the intonation consistent. It's really hard to do, um, but it's a great exercise, even if it will drive your neighbors crazy listening to this. Um, so I hope that you enjoy it. If you did and you want to learn more from me, I've got a scales and arpeggios package over at Discoverable Bass that you can take to go and learn the different fingerings that you may want to play to play the arpeggios and the scales. Um, and there's also a whole range of tutors delivering courses, lessons, interviews. There's hundreds of uh, free videos over there that you can go and check out, as well as our step-by-step -step courses. So go and visit discoverablebase.com, practice hard, and I'll see you in the next video.